if you are never getting sick, mm -hmm. it means your immune system is suppressed, usually from stress. So like what you'll see- and Someone would say, well, isn't that good? No, it's not good because, because it means your immune system is not being active. So the, 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 the stress system is very involved. So as cortisol elevates, the immune system dampens. As cortisol comes down, the immune system gets more active. And that's because it's, it's supposed to, it's built around sleep-wake cycles. <sighs> okay. So it's supposed to- If you're never getting sick, it's because your immune system is suppressed from stress. Okay, let's break this down. So this is a very inaccurate statement. This is a great example of misinformation. It's completely against our physiology, our biochemistry, our hormones, and what normally happens in our body. When your immune system is suppressed from chronic stress, your immune system being suppressed is gonna make it easier for you to get sick, okay? So people that are stressed out, that are high stress people, that are activating the cortisol pathway, are gonna decrease their immune cells, their B cell response, their T cell response, their natural killer response, their macrophages all get shut down. As they all get shut down, it's easier to get sick. In fact, it's easier to get very sick. You can actually die from life-threatening diseases that you normally wouldn't get, like tuberculosis, and things that are normally contained really well in granulomas when your immune system is suppressed from stress. So be careful what you're watching on the web. Make sure you check the credentials. I'd love to talk to you guys about some stuff too, but don't believe when somebody tells you that the reason people aren't getting sick is because their immune system is suppressed from chronic cortisol elevation. That's the complete opposite of how it works. It's completely contrary to immunology, biochemistry, everything we learned in med school and Western medicine. So be careful what you read and what you see out there because uh, it could be very harmful to your health.